I have a very quick video uh, request in the comments yesterday saying let's have an update on the training. So a uh, very quick one, very quick one. 20 minute test, done. April the 7th, 307 watts. Nice. So that means FTP 293. And my previous test, my 20 minute power was 297, which was an FTP of 284. So about 11 watt increase in three weeks of training. It's not bad, old man, but not not surprising to be honest because finds on trains. So anyway, this week was pretty chill to be honest. Um, didn't really do too many efforts, you know, just getting into it. Six hundred TSS week, nothing major. Next week, got some new intervals planned. Old Tom Bell, the old the old legend who used to coach me, he did um, wrote a decent article about some other training methods, um, different threshold techniques. So you'll see here that basically what what they're characterized by is a really hard spike to begin with. So you do about three hundred sixty watts to begin with, and then just like high tempo and apparently that's good at buffering the lactate but anyway we'll look at the normalized power here so 290 so about by ftp 288 they're, they're like harder than you expect 292 not too bad not unbelievable so anyway, that was the first week just one, one session of intensity is all we need per week and then a bit of bit of endurance here 12 minutes at 250 watts so um the normalized for the day is 212 so it just pushes up your your normalized bit like my endurance is a lot better than like my threshold, obviously, because I just that doesn't decline decline as much. If you don't know, like I used to be a lot high fitness and then had a crash, and I'm just building myself back up. So um, my best last year was like 350 watts for 20 minutes. So we're trying to get up there. So this week wasn't ideal. I had a bit of a migraine, wasn't being in top condition on Tuesday. Uh, I like to write things in just so when I'm coming back to it, I remember why I didn't train. Uh, but again, just easy two hours, mainly endurance rides. This was just to see some intensity. 160 TSS in three hours is pretty decent. Um, and again, 209 normalized. These ones actually feel a lot harder than they are, but anyway, did them. But what I want to see is that the, the gains from next week. So this is a slightly different session. So you can see it's like two minutes over your threshold. So 105% or so, and then a minute under. And you'll see I hit my best ever um, hour power for the year, 260 watts. It's not mental. It must be one of my best ever, to be fair, because like literally, yeah, we'll go here, but um, not in 2020, but of all time like i don't really do our power test so it's like up there to be fair um like yeah so none of these obviously our power test but anyway so that, that's not too bad so i was quite happy with that um and obviously normalized for the hour was 280 so that, that's again pretty good indication that you know we've we we're getting fitter um definitely because 280 watts used to be my threshold like three weeks before this so obviously i held that for an hour and it wasn't really like you know that, that's not the highest hour you're going to get but if we look at the um the normalized for these, you can see the massive improvement. That's suddenly 300 watts normalized for 12 minutes. Obviously, it's different intervals, easier to get higher normalized because you're spending more time above threshold. But you know, it's still pretty good. 298, 299. This one I was soft. I couldn't be able to do the last minute. It was like it was like a minute easy, but well, not easy, but like 260 watts. But anyway, 297 watts. So we we spent you know 44 minutes, 48 minutes, I think it was in total, or 47 because I'm a bit soft. Um, at 300 watts normalized. Obviously, average was a little bit lower, more like 290 or so around threshold, 295. So that again is showing lactate thresholds increasing, which is what we love to see. This one I was a bit soft. Um, I've had a lot of issues with my bike, but they've all been sorted out, and my Wahoo like blew up. So this week I had to get a new Wahoo. So I was like, oh, we'll just we'll take three days off, pretty much. So I had like, well, two days off, but this was pretty much off. Um. And then recovery ride, and then I just did a, a four day endurance block. So you can see I, I've been skipping gym sessions left, right, and center. My legs still, well, it, it's enough to walk, but it's not enough to like actually, you know, run. But obviously, cycling it's 50 50, my power splits. So I don't really matter. You see, two hours, three hours, four hours it felt really, really good. Like, really, really good. Obviously, these TSSs are approximate, but I was feeling solid. Sensations were good. And then yesterday, I did another three hour block. So you can see I did, you know, like four four day block of just endurance but also like i like to have my if you can get three three hour rides plus in in a row i feel like that that's a good step anyway today's recovery ride very nice got my wahoo back today i got a limited edition one i got a video coming on that basically my wahoo broke they gave me a free one on the warranty but it's it's sick um i mean it's the same it's just in black but it looks quite cool um and then more threshold this week so i've decided to do this i've got exams coming up so i've got i've got an interesting training plan but this week is gonna be 19 hours which is quite a lot um at the moment because i haven't really been trained well obviously i've been training a lot but not properly like I, as in normally you know i can do a 20 hour 25 hour week and that's tough but not impossible i think it's 19 hour week should kill me to 840 tss isn't too bad though um and then the next week i've actually gone for less but some more training stress so you can see i've got three hard sessions which is normally the cusp so again the same intervals 
I'll obviously aim for higher. I've done 30 15s because I found that really good at like building mass amounts of TSS and I just quite enjoy them as intervals. Um, and I don't, I didn't like the 45 seconds hard and then two minutes rest because I think if your threshold isn't correct for these ones that I, like Tom Mel is a big fan of, they're too easy and they're too hard to adjust. So like this one here, like I found if I rode that, that's, that's not hard enough because my threshold is like, especially for me, I find that in general, over-unders aren't very hard for me like relative to my FTP. So I can always overshoot them. So I find these ones aren't as good. But what I do prefer is these 3015s, which I made harder than what I originally was prescribed. Like I just go and Tom did them, but they're 3015. So 13 minutes so is about 9 minutes 45. So 13 times, 30 seconds full, 15 seconds off. Um, and I find I can do these at th my threshold. And so it's quite a good way of indicating what your threshold is going to be. So I know if I'm doing average power 300, I know my threshold when I do my next test will be I'll aim for 315 to 320 watts on the 20 minute test because that will come up roughly 300 FTP. So then that's quite a good way of telling because I think otherwise you cannot know what it is. You might not know what it is. But this one is a classic warm up, bang your 3015s. I like to do them on a climb. Don't have any like long climbs near here, so I don't. Um, but yeah, and I also think sometimes you can do them shorter. If you do them like seven minutes, you can get them really hard and have even less time to recover. Like two minutes to recover, that's pretty good as well. Maybe do five, five reps. But all you'll need to do is just accumulate time here. And if you watch your heart rate over these, they go up and down, up and down, but the trend is upwards and it's top. And then just more rides. And then this is this is the killer ride, which I love to do. Four hours, 240 TSS. You do for the first 20 minutes. So I normally try and get like a 10 watt increase. So first one, I'll probably do 275. Two, two no, like 285, 295, and then 305. Probably what I'll do. I put it as tempo, but that's probably what we'll do. And then 93 um ctl pretty high for me i'm generally i think my best ever numbers would normally come about 75 80 but you know i've got time and then ftp test here so i prefer 20 minutes i've done five times eight 20 minute ramp i'm gonna do a ramp test in here sometime i've got five minute max because i'm gonna do a big block on for my five minute max after this um but yeah anyway training's going well very happy follow me on strava link below link below follow me on strava cheers and um yeah there we go um if you want any more tints tips or anything else then uh, let me go, but let me know. But um, anyway, the, the gains, it's like a six weeks block from this FTP test. Um, So from my FTP test here, so seventh, it's, it's a long time. Um, But I've had like these th two, three days off. And then this whole week was pretty chill because it was effectively four, four days off. Obviously two hours there, but it was minimal TSS. It was just an easy two hours. And then this one again, I started with an easy two hours again. So it was sort of like a midweek off, and then I've just got two weeks of real high intensity before the test. And we'll see what happens. I'm I'm hoping for another, like, 20-watt gain, I think. Um, no, maybe 15, 15 watts, 10 to 15 watts, I think. So last time I was 297 to 308, so I'm hoping for another 10 watts. And ultimately, I hope before maybe July, August time, um, that I can hit 350 again. I've changed power meters to an info crank, so it's more accurate, so it might not boost my numbers as much as stages but some people say stages under read and i think i'm probably a little bit heavier than i was then i was 61 kilos last year but i think i'm probably more like 62 63 i'm weighing myself because i don't have scales on me at the moment but um you know it's, it's not too important at the moment um it's mainly just getting numbers up um and also to be fair like i have a fair amount of metal in me now so i reckon that's like an extra kilo minimum no, I don't think it is. I think I'm actually just a bit fat. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, we'll, we'll be able to sort it. So anyway, cheers for watching. Um, follow me as Driver, and we'll see you next time.